It's the final day of the Tire Rack Overland Adventure East 2019. We rolled in after dark last night to the camp here at Twin Mountain Off-Road in West Virginia, so nobody really knew what the terrain around here looked like. They're all waking up this morning, they're blown away. Mountains and valleys and trees, fog hanging over the mountains. Breakfasts are cooking, camps are getting put away, people are getting going for the day. It is gonna be an amazing day. We've got a tour put on by the owner of the park. He's gonna run us on some trails, then we're gonna make a beeline to Arrington, Virginia, where we're gonna set everybody up at the four-wheeler adventure camp for Overland Expo East. You gotta stay tuned, it's gonna be a great day. This is my 1949 International KV2. It's on a 73 Chevy chassis, and so it was easy to swap another 350 into it. And uh, it's a unique vehicle. You won't see another one like it on the road. Uh, it was pretty cool with the International Harvester when we were at Roush Creek to see him kind of go through some of those tougher areas in an older vehicle like that. Um, and something that's, you know, homemade, kind of home built and see him get through some of those obstacles. That was pretty cool, and you could definitely tell he was excited about that. It's been a, a, an adventure. Uh, really enjoyable, lots, lots of good fellowship. Uh, we've had mostly good weather, and what we had that wasn't good was still good. It's midday here at the TireRack.com Overland Adventure East on the last day. And what a day it's been. We started this morning at Twin Mountain Off-Road. The owner, John Bradshaw, took us on an incredible, cool tour of some of the park. It was amazing, mountains and valleys and trees, it was gorgeous. Then, it was some road miles. And now, we're here at Overland Expo East. It's setup day, there's like an electricity in the air. It's Overlanders from all over the world come into town, manufacturers come in to set up their booths, we're a part of it. We've got the Overland Adventure Camp setting up right now. Check back in a little bit. We got a big day. We got a big night with a banquet. We're excited. Check it out. My name's Mike Morrison with Overland Experts. Yesterday we had some issues. Uh, we had a Land Rover with a blown coolant hose. Uh, we were able to fix that relatively easily. Field expedient repair, still able to use the same hose. Uh, we fixed it with uh, vulcanized silicone tape and bike inner tube. Got him back on the road pretty quick and was able to keep with the group. That's what really makes it awesome, uh, is when you can kind of keep someone on the trail for the rest of the day uh, and do it relatively easily. So the number one thing that I like about overlanding is when we get to take people to new areas, see kind of look the look on their face uh, when they see a cool new site or um, if they get their vehicle to do something that they really didn't expect that it could do. Uh, the vehicles normally we say are the most capable, it's always the loose nut behind the wheel, right? So uh, when we take somebody to a cool new area and they get through something that they didn't expect or their vehicle does something they didn't think it could do, it's always awesome to kind of see that light bulb come on their face and see how excited they get about it. Here we are, it's the final banquet. It's been a great week. It's been four days of awesome Overland Adventure East 2019. We're here in Virginia. All the rigs from Overland Adventure East are in the Overland Adventure Camp within the Overland Expo. Most of them are tucked in for the night. Tomorrow, the Expo kicks off. It's gonna be awesome. Tonight, we're wrapping up our event, Overland Adventure East, with this incredible banquet. We've invited everybody over to this beautiful place. We're gonna treat them all to a sit down dinner. We're gonna have a raffle, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna relive what happened during the week. A lot of new friends made, a lot of new stories to tell. Check us out at fourwheeler.com to read all the updates and also follow it on hashtag Overland Adventure 19. Thank you for coming along on this journey with us. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you will apply to be a part of a future Overland Adventure. Until then, get out there, do some overlanding, and have a blast.